So last season, the Cardinals started on fire, but in week five, the Cardinals got hit with some adversity. At the time, the Cardinals were 4-0 facing the San Francisco 49ers, and it was the second quarter where Kyler Murray found Max Williams on the right sideline. He ended up lowering his shoulder, and he sustained a season-ending knee injury. This was really unfortunate because at the time, Max Williams was actually having a really good season. He had 16 receptions for 193 yards and even had a touchdown. And going into the year, I thought the Cardinals were going to have a big problem at tight end. Max Williams came out of nowhere and proved me wrong. So when he went down with the season-ending knee injury, our tight end position got really thin and when he got hurt this was right around the trade deadline so if we wanted to make a move we had to make it fast and luckily for us Steve Kime did exactly that and he went out and traded for Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz and thankfully he did because in his time here he recorded 56 receptions for 574 yards and three touchdowns this was an absolutely amazing trade considering we didn't even give up that much and not only that, but he became one of Kyler's favorite targets. If he were to spend a full season here, I guarantee he cracks a thousand yards. Because like previously mentioned, in the 12 games he played here, he almost cracked 600. Give him six more games and I guarantee he gets it. But as it stands right now, Zach Ertz is currently a free agent, so we don't know if he's going to come back or not. Everything we've heard so far points to him wanting to be here, because he said in interviews that we still have unfinished business and he would love the opportunity to continue here. So from those quotes, it sounds like the balls in the Cardinals court and considering we went out and made a trade for him and he played really well it would make no sense for the Cardinals not to want him back so I absolutely expect him to make an offer and something else that makes it very obvious that he needs to be back in Cardinals red is it seems that him and Kyler have developed a really strong relationship I mean Zach Ertz said in an interview that Kyler Murray is the most talented player he's ever been around and he's very confident he's the guy who's going to lead this team to success in the future um Kyler is the most talented player I've ever been around and I think the sky is the limit for him. But I'm confident that he's the guy to lead this team to success in the future. That's some pretty high praise. And when you flip the script and look at some of the things that Kyler said about Ertz, he said he provides a comfort level. It's crazy. He's always open. Kyler also said when he looks at the game film on Zach Ertz, nine times out of 10, he's won his route. Nine times out of 10 is crazy. And from those quotes right there, it's safe to say they built a pretty good relationship on and off the field. I just don't understand why a deal wouldn't get done. It wouldn't make any sense for the Cardinals not to re-sign him. So I think he's going to be back. I guess the only question is... At what cost? If we take a look at some of the top contracts currently in the NFL for tight ends, you'll see there's only currently seven players making over $10 million a year. Those players being Austin Hooper, Hunter Henry, Jonu Smith, Mark Andrews, Dallas Goddard, Travis Kelsey, and George Kittle. So where does Zach Ertz fall in this? If we take a look at last season, he was ranked number eight in average salary, making eight and a half million dollars a year. And honestly, that's not that bad of a price for him. The Cardinals are going to take into consideration that he is 31 years old. So I don't envision them signing him to a long-term deal. And if I had to take a guess on the contract they're going to offer him, I'd probably say we're going to look to sign him to like a two-year to 16 to $20 million deal. And if that were the case, I would be absolutely stoked. But that's just my prediction. I have no idea what's going to happen. But what I do know is the Cardinals would be absolutely crazy to let him go. But I just don't think that's going to happen. And I think he's going to be one of the biggest priorities in Steve Kimes' list. And with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you guys think the Cardinals should re-sign him or not. And if so, let me know the type of contract you think he should get. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and Arizona Cardinals related content, so if you're a fan of either of those or both of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.